Hey guys. Happy Sunday. Happy Sunday fun day. Did you have a fun day on your Sunday? We had an okay day. It was a lot of errands to do. Yeah, a lot of running around. But all in all, it was a good day. Tomorrow's gonna suck. Go live. Ready, Kaggy Doodle? Yes, I am. And we're live on IG. Almost, hey guys. Almost. Hello. Happy Sunday, guys. Happy Sunday to everybody. Everybody and that we is. We are live on Twitch. I just got the notification. Thank you. Who's doing Chinese on Sunday, huh? I'm going to go over to Khaki. Can everybody see it? Yeah. Right. Let's go on the Mine's Twitch like comments. Really your what? My food. Oh, it's your the fucking coleslaw. coleslaw. But it's going to be good. All right, so maybe we should just slide khaki should we you want to turn your your want to turn it that why way why would i turn it that way it's gonna make it worse no because you'll see the ending of it right mm -hmm. try it mm -hmm. yeah i'm not moving it because if my okay. tacos fall i'm gonna be pissed then don't do it khaki. i'm not going to don't do it what's up guys give me one second I'm gonna take my shirt off and then I'm gonna pin the comment and then I'm gonna eat some Chinese. This was not in the books tonight. No, it's not. I actually had a nice dessert meal planned and uh, I went for a run and that just, I don't wanna say it fucked everything up, but I didn't wanna do anything. I didn't wanna do anything after the run. So, <coughs> I waited for Kaki to get out of the shower and I'm like, I'm like, do you want to do Chinese? She's like, no, I'm doing, no. I'm doing pulled pork, ta pulled pork tacos. I'm like, all right, I'm doing Chinese. I don't want to cook. I don't want to weigh anything out. We're just gonna roll with that. Kaki, what hey, do you have? Cody. Pulled pork tacos. Pulled pork tacos. Pulled. Life happened. Enjoy the meal. Exactly, Cody. Oh, I'm gonna enjoy it. I'm not worried about it. Pulled pork tacos. Slash. Hey. Kaggy, you see that that thing that, what, what is that technically called? What? What I just did, pulled pork tacos and then slash, what is that actually called? Backslash. Backslash, is that what it is? Yeah. All right. <laughs> hey backslash. Trish, how are you? Hi Trish. What's for dinner tonight? I have pulled pork tacos. I just pinned it. Jimmy has Chinese. You can't see me yet because Jimmy's arm's in the way. There we go. There you go. I'd say let's egg roll cheers, but uh, Kaki don't have an egg roll. We can egg roll. Kaki don't have an egg roll. Cheers. Yeah. Cheers, Kaki. Cheers. I'm going to finish my beer, though. I'm going to finish my beer. <clears throat> mm. Oh, holy shit. Good? Bye. Alright, I don't even know where to start. Do I start with a dumpling? Do I start with some rice? I'm going to start with some rice. I'm going to some rice and some chicken. Uh, excuse me. How was everybody's Sunday? Did anybody do anything fun? Did anybody do something that they normally would not do on the weekend? Us, we did the same shit. Ran errands, went food shopping. Hey, Mr. Bourbon. Mr. Bourbon, how the fuck are you tonight? Are you enjoying your weekend? How was your fun Sunday in the sun? Yes, we saw the sun for the first time. Hey, Jimmy Jam. In a very long time. Hey, Jimmy. How was your fun Sunday? I gotta be honest with you. When it comes to Sundays, I'm so overloaded with donuts and cookies and pizza that it's almost like my body's just like, Jamie, take it easy. Don't do nothing. Enjoy the fuck out of the day. Give your body a rest. Get ready for your shitty work week you're about to encounter. Right? That's what my body's telling me. Mermaid parade, what? That's what my body's telling me. You know what my mind is telling me? Jamie, you had a big fucking weekend. You ate a lot of calories. You're doing this whole thing for your weight loss. You're going to show people that you're going to get abs. This and that. Get your ass out and run. Run like someone's fucking chasing you. Run like the cops are chasing you for stealing a bunch of donuts. That will make your ass run. I ran. I ran like Forrest Gump today. 
And then we have to run like the cops are chasing us because the cops are everywhere today. <laughs> what is mermaid? Oh, yeah, a mermaid parade. What is that? In Coney Island. So that's in New York. Not too far from us. No, I feel like an hour and a half away. Where's his friend? Listen to Yeah. Fucking people making yeah. abs. Yeah, Trish, what the heck is a mermaid parade? Like, that sounds like really interesting and fun, and I kind of like want to go to it next year. <laughs> no, Jimmy Jam, abs would make me happy because it's something I've always wanted, and I've always been told that I'll never have them. And listen, I'm going to get them while, in, while doing this, eating foods I enjoy. Everyone dresses up like sea creatures. Yeah. They do it, it does every sound fun. June. It sounds like sounds something. Like a lot of it sounds like Isabella would like that. Uh, yeah, I was just going to say that. It sounds like me and Isabella would probably have said, like a really good time. She said Coney Island. Mm -hmm. I guarantee to you, if we took Isabella to a mermaid parade in Coney Island, she would say, yeah, per mermaid, mermaid, mermaid. And then she would see hot dogs. <laughs> and then the hot dogs would sidetrack her. Mm -hmm. Fuck the mermaids. That's what she would say. She would No, she would see like actual Coney Island and like want to go on all the fucking rides. She'd say fuck She'd the, want the hot dogs. She'd say screw the parade. I want to go on the rides. She'd want the hot dogs. The daddy's little girl. For a fat ass nap with my girl. You took a four, a four hour fat I'm ass jealous. nap with your girl. Definitely amazing. I would love a four hour nap. Mm. I hate Hold naps. on, Jimmy. When I Mr. get my Bur fake boobs, you can buy your fake abs. Buy one, get one free. That's what I'm saying. No. I'm gonna get fake boobs and I'm gonna get tummy tuck. I'm all for the fake boobs, but the tummy tuck. If you don't know, it would make me feel better about myself, and that's, that's all fine. that matters. No, and that's fine. I want you to be happy. Oh, don't touch me. I didn't touch my hand on food. Oh my god, stop it. I'm not I'm not trying to annoy it, but this is what I like yeah, to that's do. What I he does. do it to my kids all the time. And I it, just do it and show no. them this is what I what is do it. This is what's because I hate when people touch my glasses because okay. they're greasy ass fingers. This then is I what get smudges. This is what like this thing. is what is meant to happen. I like to do this. I do that to my kids' face all the time. It's. Mm. it's I used it's, to wake up in the middle of the night to Jamie just stroking my face. Is that is that unnormal, or is that kind of cute? What do you think? I thought it was fucking creepy. <laughs> <laughs> Kids don't mind it. <laughs> My mom don't like it either. But I'm someone that likes to touch you. Okay, I like I to touch you. Message you. It's it's nothing weird. It's nothing weird if I ever meet you. Can you tell? Don't me? take an offense if I just if I if I go like that to your face. I probably won't. I, w I won't do it to a stranger. Jimmy, feel free to message me. Like I, you know what? I value your input. Uh oh. Yeah. What? Listen to you with the sur oh the surgery, gotcha. I thought his it was mom went through the surgery, so I kind of know. What, the tummy tuck and a boob job. Yeah, well she got a reduction and she got a tummy tuck. My mom got a tummy tuck and a boob reduction. Yeah. My mom got the whole nine yards. She needed a lot of work. My mom. Wow. You see that? <laughs> I hope she and watches this. And she's gonna this. watch this tomorrow, and she's gonna call you, you motherfucker. <laughs> I hope she watches this long enough to, to hear that. Mr. Bourbon, will I touch you in the face? Listen, no, probably not. But if I love you, if I love you, it's Don't something... Do it again, I won't do it. It's something I do to show my affection. Like, some people might give a high five, a handshake, a hug, a kiss. I touch faces. That's what I do. Yeah, I probably would do it to you, Jimmy Jim. Oh my god, he totally would do it to you. I would do it to you, Jimmy Jim. <laughs> I would do it to you. I know you well enough. I feel I would do it to Chooch as well. If I know you well enough and, and you know that's what I do, I'll probably do it to you. That's me though. That's who I Mr. am. Mr. Bourbon said, I know you love me, LMFAO. I do love you, Mr. Bourbon. I still gotta look at your profile picture though. Oh, you were right on the comb over thing. I was. I was good on the. You know what? I totally thing. forgot to look up your profile. Dally. Mm -hmm. Who's Dally? Oh, Tell Dally. Hello. We'll Mid sleep in Vegas. To you doing that to me? No, I wouldn't be creepy like that. Oh, that's, how different. I used, that's how I used to wake up. 
I'm all right. Khaki's the team different. is just stroking my face. I'm like, Khaki's different because when we were... When like, we, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> believe it or not, there was a time where we used to sleep together. And now, it's almost like we're back at that teenager stage. Yeah, we have kids. But we don't sleep in the same bed unless we're at a hotel together. And even when we're at a hotel together, I'm sleeping with one of the kids. Or Khaki's yeah, sleeping with one of the kids. Yeah, it's usually two queen beds. We all can't fit it's, one bed. It's very rare we sleep together. And the the, ch the times that we do get to sleep together, I like to I like to pinch arm hairs, and I rub faces. Yeah, I used to bother me. Khaki hates both of them, and it's not like I just I constantly lay next to you. You should check and rub it your out. Face. So you can see me and your beautiful girlfriend. I am. You know what? I'm gonna check it out right now, Miss Bourbon. What? Read Jimmy's last comment. All right, Jimmy, give me a second. I'll do it right now, Jimmy Joe. My thunder buddy. Then you poop. Then you boot me in the nose like super bad. What is that? What does that mean? Boop you in the nose? I don't know what that is. In, in Chinese, lol. Your hair. My hair. What's wrong with my hair, Joanne? I washed my hair on Friday. My hair is very. Listen, if I don't comb my hair and I wash it, I my hair gets curly. Uh, it's just, it's just how it is. I would I say ninja. To... Hey, Shelby. There's my girl. There's my girl, Shelby. Hello. Um, you don't know how to spell what, Mr. Mr. Bourbon? Mr. Bourbon. Comment, Mr. Bourbon. Oh, Mr. Okay, there we go. M I S T E R. Mr. Bourbon, Chris. Calabero. Here we go. I'm about to see what Mr. Bourbon's face looks Is like. Is that him? I don't know. Mr. Yeah, you're private. <laughs> no, it's not. Oh, is it? You're fucking private, Mr. Bourbon. Save water, drink whiskey. Is that you? Yeah, that's him. Cuban American. I love cooking and eating it too. You're private. Hold on. Drunk I'll next request. To his friend I'll request his you. Finger <laughs> goes boop and pokes him those though. Oh, that's very... I've never seen that. I've never seen that. Well, I requested him. <clears throat> you know what my thing is about not following people that have a private account? I don't know what I'm about to follow. Yeah, seriously. And that's why I don't do it. But now that we know you're a real person, I'll follow you. It's fine. I don't, I don't do it. Chris Bone 84 hello. Hi, Chris. How are you tonight? What did you do? Who's got to go to work tomorrow and is fucking miserable? Not me. You know what? Tomorrow's a bittersweet day for me. Okay, Mr. Yeah. Okay, Mr. Bourbon. Be right back. <laughs> He's got Tomorrow's a, a bittersweet day for me, guys. You know why? It's my last full day with just me and Isabella while Lucas goes to school. Really? No. Yeah, it really? is. Do you know why? Do you know why? She goes to pre-K starting September. Yes, Lucas will be going to summer school, but only for three hours a day. It's my last full day just... Me and Isabella. Alright. Messy oh, what? Little sad. Messy hair, Shelby? Messy hair? I usually wear a hat all the time. You know, like, I don't want to... I like, did follow you, Mr. Bourbon, unless it was the wrong account. It's like, I don't want... I, I don't mind the Macho Man compliments saying I look like Macho Man. I really don't. But if I wear a hat all the time, all the time... I'm really gonna be like the Macho Man and I'm gonna start thinning in the back, which I already am, and I don't need to make that worse. Like, I don't wanna have the Macho Man hair. It's the last thing I wanna do. And I noticed that, that I, I really noticed that, like last year, that I'm starting to thin out around the back area. So, if I could lessen the hat wear, I'm good. I'm fucking good. <laughs> Hi, Steve. Jimmy Jam. Hey, Steve. He said, Happy your stream is late. Just finished cutting my hair and cleaning up the beard. Nice and clean for carpet rides. <laughs> Jimmy Jam? Yeah. You know when's the last time I gave a mustache ride? It's been a minute. It's been a minute. Yeah, it has. It's not really like a month, not even a month. We forget Someone sometimes. called you out and you're like, fuck no. Who called Jimmy out? Someone called you out and I'm like, well, who called me out, Shelby? Hey, I'll, Steve, how I will, are you? I will put them on the fucking list right now. I just told Khaki that somebody's got to go on the list tonight. Yeah, I want to Somebody's got to go on the list tonight. If if you saw someone call me out, please let me know what they said and, and, what, and what their day. name is. Because <laughs> I haven't put anybody on the list until, since Khaki's job. Jimmy just got done saying. 
It's been a while since I put some oil Be like my morning hair. My hair. Be you, my morning hair. I'm kind of, I'm fucking curious. Um, that guy Abadu needs to be on it. He's on it, Jimmy Jam. That dude. Huh? Is he on now? No, Jimmy Jam. You're talking about that douche from uh, Blake Stream that said watching me is like. Oh, you're a figure, like. Shopping yeah. at Walmart or yeah, something like that. Yeah, no, he called us. Um, you're the faking. bootleg Blake and Jenny. Yeah. Yeah, no, That's he's fine. on. It. I he's... would be bootleg Jenny. I really don't give a shit. And I am, and shit. as you guys know, I'm more than happy to be bootleg Blake. I am. I don't care. Like I'm not one to get everything that I learned from Blake and then do everything like Blake and then disappear and say this is all me. Like I give Blake credit for everything I fucking do and I'm not going to change that. I don't care how many followers I get, how where I go in, in life. <clears throat> I'm this way and this is what I do because of him. Why would I fucking turn my back on him? I'm not ashamed of that. I'm just not. I'll be a fanboy all I want. I don't care. I will. Well, did you say you say something to me, Jackie? No, I was talking to myself, Mr. Bourbon. Hold on. Aww. That's Mr. Bourbon. And his his girlfriend. Mr. Bourbon, it's nice to see you. It's I thought you nice had blonde hair. It's nice to put a face to the name. Didn't you say you had blonde hair? Oh, you're both so cute. Don't mad at me, stream. Jenny got mad at you on the stream? Who For did? What? For what? Wait, wait, wait. Jimmy Jenny, Jim. Jenny got mad at you. Why? What'd you do? You probably did something. <laughs> Hi, Pisces. Hey, Pisces. You must have did something for Jenny to get mad at yeah, you. Yeah, seriously. Jenny, Jenny don't get mad, get mad at anybody. <laughs> What'd you do? I'm curious to know, Jimmy Jam. Dirty blonde. That was brown hair. Mr. Bourbon, that was brown yeah, hair. Yeah, I was a lot dirty blonde. Unless you dyed your hair. Are you doing like a... I called her Boo, and she like, only Blake can call me Boo. She was drunk. <laughs> okay. All right, so so drunk, she didn't get mad. And you got drunk Jenny, which is not Jenny. It's funny, though. Why the fuck would you call her Boo? I don't even call Khaki Boo. Khaki calls people Boo all the time. I call Joanne Boo. No, that's right. You call Joanne Boo, but I don't use that fucking word. Why? I just don't. I don't think it's like a female. I, I, I wouldn't call my, you know? I think, I, if anything, I would call my daughter Boo. Like, oh, Boo. But uh, even that sounds oh, weird. Man. I had a dog named Boo. Why would I call somebody a, you know what I mean? Pisces, you just finished straightening your hair and coloring it. Nice. That's always a good feeling when you dye your hair. And then you do it up all nice. I'm dyeing my hair. Just to check it out. Make sure it looks good. I do that. You pull Christina Honey Boo Boo. Well, I'd get mad at that too, Jimmy Jim. Honey you, Boo Boo? You probably do that shit on purpose, though. Just oh, to get I'd get mad too. I don't be called Honey Boo Boo. <laughs> if you don't know who Honey Boo Boo is, look her up. You don't, yeah. She was a cute kid, and now she's... I don't even know how old she is, but... I just... I can't watch that show. I yeah. watch it all the time. It drives Jamie nuts. Oh, my God. I, can't I do watch it. Mama June from Not to Hot. It's my guilty pleasure. All right, Shelby's with me. <laughs> she fucking hates boo. I'm not a fan of the. I'm not a fan of the word boo either. And I only named my dog Boo because I got him on Halloween. And <laughs> I got I got him around. I mean, I think I think the boo came like the the slang word for boo came out a year later or something like that. I don't remember. I don't remember either. But I'm like everybody's like, oh, boo. <laughs> I'm like, boo, like, She's boo, I scared one. you. <laughs> Not like, what up, boo? I just never liked that word. Christina wants a dog and wants to name him Kevin. <laughs> Kevin's a great name for a dog. <laughs> or Brian. That's even funny. That's so funny. Brian, like, Brian from a dog from um, Family Guy. Brian, yeah. Jimmy Jim, get her a dog. Get her a dog. Just don't get her a little dog. Don't get. Hey River, don't get her a little hey, dog. Hey River. 
I don't have anything against little dogs. They're just pains in the asses. We have train. little dogs. We have a little dog. I'll never buy a little dog again unless my daughter really wants one. But I'm a big dog guy. I like big dogs. She's knowing Isabella, she's going to want a dog that she can stick in a purse. And carry her around with her. Knowing her. Alright, Pitbull's not bad. A lap dog? Yeah, fuck that. Pitbull's... Pitbull's are big sweethearts. They really are. They get such bad, bad fucking rap. <laughs> Shelby has a friend that named the dog Ronald. Ronald's a cool name for a dog. <laughs> as long as it's a doobie looking dog. <laughs> Come here, Ronald. Don't you shit on the carpet, Ronald. <laughs> I got... I've got a couple names picked out if we get a German Shepherd. If it's a male, his name will be Rocket or Rocky. Trish, we had a little dog too. And his name was Teddy. And he was like the sweetest thing ever. He really was. He stunk really bad, but he was like the sweetest dog. And he was like so friendly. He loved everyone. Harold Richards? <laughs> what? Wait, if he wants a boxer, mm -hmm. I want a German Shepherd. If I, I get a, a male, if I get a male German Shepherd, it's going to be Rocky or Rocket. If I get a female German Shepherd, it's going to be Toonie. That name's not changing. Or Samantha. See, here's the thing. It's kind of like a child. You can't really name a dog. Until you see it. Until you see it. See some of the traits. But I already have my names picked out. Yeah, but it, that's going to change once you see the dog and you like see its personality. Uh, no. Mm-hmm. If we get a boxer, I don't even know. I want a boxer so bad. I honestly could. He's such a good dog. I love dogs, I really do, but I don't want one. And I'm a big dog person. Listen, you weren't the one that walked it and picked up its shit. That I, was all me. The hair. Vacuuming, I, that I was hate, all me. <laughs> I hate the laying down on the couch or sitting down on the couch or, or having the dog rub against you and then you just cover with hair. We have that now. Jax isn't that bad. Jax yeah. is a lab. A corgi. That's the only little dog I would get is a corgi. With a little stump tail. I like the little stump tail. <laughs> a corgi is the only little... Those things are fucking cute. Those are, that's the only little dog I would get. <clears throat> They're so freaking cute. <laughs> River, what, you have a German Shepherd, correct? Yes, River has a German so freaking cute too. Okay. Our neighbor across the street, she has a um, she has a German Shepherd. Mm -hmm. Such a good dog. She really is. Like Halloween time, like the dog came to the door, like when we knocked on it, and Isabel's like, "I want to pet it." So of course Maria opened the door. The dog doesn't go anywhere. It's like bullet no. trained. She just sat there and just let us pet her. She's like such a sweetheart. German Shepherds are normally good dogs. Yeah, I, I, I remember you having a German Shepherd. I remember you doing a story or a post of playing with it. I know you guys so cute. I wouldn't get another small dog, though. Oh, Jimmy, you're fucked up. <laughs> you're eating Chinese? <laughs> I'm eating chicken, though. I'm not eating dog. I wouldn't eat dog. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> okay. Okay. I know it's, it's done, but... God damn it, Jimmy Jam. <laughs> not, that's not cool. Ruin my fucking dinner. <laughs> Christina gets mad when I say I love dogs in my chicken. <laughs> I, I couldn't do it. I don't blame her for getting mad. Boxers? Boxers have like... No. Yes, boxers... All dogs shed unless, you know, they're the type of dog like a Maltese or a Bichon. Or like a poodle, the types that need to be shaved because they don't shave. Yeah, but boxers have that short hair. It doesn't hair. matter. It yeah. still comes out. Well, listen, that's why, part of the reason why I could go without having a dog, unless I have a big-ass yard. They're still going to shut the house. In a barn where it could go to sleep and then come in and have its own room like a den. I'd be okay with that. Bullshit, because Jamie's the first person to put the damn dog in the bed. Uh huh. Uh huh. That was back in the day, Kagi. Jeez, but all here I am pregnant with all three fucking dogs plus my goddamn cat in the bed. And me. 
Mm-hmm. Did they all three, all three of them sleep mm -hmm. with us? All on khaki, the Three too. dogs. Oh my god. That's all they want to do is snuggle up next to me. And here I am all big and pregnant and uncomfortable. I got damn dogs snuggled up next to me. And then my cat has to lay on my chest. You just Todd That's or all, Alvin? No, Alvin had to lay like on my chest. Same thing with Todd. Todd likes, Todd still likes to do that. Todd's like 20 pounds though. He can't really lay on your chest. King size bed? And he gets pissed off if like you don't roll over so he can lay on your chest. Did we have a king size bed at that time? Yeah, right? Mm-hmm. But we had a golden retriever. She was like 80 pounds. She was a big dog. We had a beagle Rottweiler mix. She was like Ooh. a 25 pounds. And then we got she was this. She's stocky. And then we had a Bichon. Yeah, he was like 10 to 15 pounds. He was a little dog. But then you got you got pregnant Khaki, who was not small. And then you got fat me. And then you had my cat. And then you had the cat. It was a big thing. Cyprus? Oh, Greece. You're from Greece. That's right. You've been here before. What's up? How are when you I get tonight? Home, you love to watch our videos. Thank you. Appreciate that. I love to have you watch us. And I love to have you in the street. We love that, you know, we have somebody from Greece that watches us. That's pretty awesome. Oh, Trish, we watch King of Queens every single night, except last night it wasn't on. Yeah. I need a new fork. Hands are sticky. Hands are sticky. That's where our daughter gets it from. That's why she's like, feed me, my hands are sticky. She does it all the time. I don't know how much I'm eating here. The goal wasn't for me to eat all this by myself. But I'll do what I can. He got the food coma. <laughs> he couldn't finish the food. You gave him too much. And oh, you know, it's very rare hey. that a dog will stop eating. Yeah, I don't, I think I've, I don't think I've ever seen that. Ugh. Oh, I'm changing out the fork. Our one dog, Bella. She would The Beagle stop. Rottweiler mix. Let me tell you something. We had like three different kinds of cages just to try to keep her contained. This dog got out of every single freaking cage we had. We used to call her Houdini. Because she used to get out of every cage. Didn't matter what kind of cage it was. We actually went and got like one of those plastic ones with like the metal bars. And the guy at Petco was like, oh yeah, she'll never be able to get out of this. The metal ones, oh yeah, they can, they can get out of this. But this one she can't get out of. Let me tell you something, she broke the fucking metal bars off slid the whole freaking thing over and there was like a plastic hole like this big like she contorted her freaking fat ass out of the freaking window and then she went and she opened the microwave and ate the chocolate cake that was inside the microwave we once walked in to her on the oven with a bag of milanos my milano box cookies over her head no it was a bag of chips milano cookies we took a picture oh yeah you're right it was cookies she had her whole head stuck inside of a bag And they were of, in the microwave. They were in the microwave. You could, the whole microwave was twisted, and she knew which button. This is how fucking smart she was. She knew which button to press to open the microwave. Took the cookies out, and then got her head stuck inside the bag. Ate all the cookies, and then the, her head was... We must have walked in just in time, because she could have suffocated. She was a sweetheart, but she was a bad fucking dog at the same time. <laughs> Shelby's oldest said she heard you belch and she was like, ew, oh my god. <laughs> what? What happened? Shelby's kid heard you burp and said, ew, oh my god. Excuse me, Shelby's kid. I apologize. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Pisces, she was extremely smart. She once got out of her cage and then tore up a brand new couch. Yeah, she ate, not, she ate the couch, literally ate it. And um, then she ate the carpet. Because, you know, the couch wasn't enough. She wasn't full. She had to eat the carpet. She was a bad fucking dog. But she was my dog. Did she have diarrhea? Um, no. Her, she is, she, she like, was weird. She would eat anything and everything and never got sick until she died. Yeah. But one time, 
The one time she got sick, she wound up dying, like, a week later. Yeah, it was sad. Yeah, the TV on the two level. She was sleeping in the other room and well, the door closed. <laughs> did she know it was me, at least Jimmy Jam? She probably I'm knew. I'm sure she heard the sound of the burp and was just like, oh, God. Fucking and Jamie woke me up again. That's got. That's nice to hear, though. Like, oh, I'm waking people up in Chicago. They know the sound of my burp. Like, what the fuck was that? Is that an earthquake? Oh, no, it's just Jamie. She realized big... what it was. <laughs> she realized it was you. Oh, that's what I was going to do about the Chinese chicken. It's a red hot pepper place on this shit. <sighs> Would you say my burps... Do you say my burps are unique? Um, yeah. They are, right? Red pepper flakes. I always ask for my Chinese to be spicy, and they never really do it. They never make it spicy. Yeah. Like, oh, it's already spicy. I'm like, but I nice want pecs? it spicy. I got nice pecs, River. Do I? Are you just being nice? Thank you. Jamie, you got nice pecs. Accept the compliment. I accept it. I thank you. I really want some pay per view post stream, so no spoiler. Jimmy Jam, I, I I watched I think two matches. I didn't care two shits about tonight's pay per view. I know what happened. I'm not gonna say nothing. Honestly, I would rather. Uh, I'd rather watch a Monday Night Raw than some pay per view. Some pay per views you just look at the card. <clears throat> And you Thank just, you, Jimmy. It has nothing to do with the talent. It has nothing to do with the talent. It's just the way everything is. It's very goofy and like I have a love hate relationship with wrestling. Not really wrestling with WWE. Like a dying cow. <laughs> Shelby's oldest said you sound like a dying cow. A dying cow. Oh, Shelby. <laughs> oh, love kids. I really do. They say the darndest things. How old? <laughs> Is who is, you said your daughter? How old is your daughter? So, so Carmela and Corey Graves came out as an official couple on he, her IG. Yeah, it's kind of a fucked up thing because <laughs> the whole Carmela and that's that's like no secret though. Corey Graves was married, and then a whole, this happened a while ago, a, whole, a while ago, where she was like, she came out and was posting shit on social media about him wanting, you know, his suicide problems, and, and this is all dirt sheet stuff, is it true? Who knows? <laughs> Who knows? Jimmy Jim said, wow, Shelby. You're old enough to know what a dying gal sounds like. <laughs> sounds like Jamie Burpin. I like to think that my burps sound like Godzilla. Not a dying cow. I don't sound like a cow mooing. Ah, maybe it is. Like, remember when Jim Carrey's movie, where he has the the three big black kids as his kids? Oh, what the yeah, fuck that was, was that? Super Me, myself, true. and Irene. Oh, oh yeah, me, myself, and Irene. For some reason, I was gonna say super troopers. And he's like fighting the cow, trying to put it out of its misery. And then you do your. I'll let a good one out when I chug some soda in a little bit. You sound like a cow when you're running. How's that, River? With the, like the breathing heavy? Yeah, I get that. I ran. I ran so freaking... I did a good job on my run to the bay. Like, I didn't stop once. I took it nice and slow. Especially after a donut. <laughs> I took it nice and slow. And then when it was time to run back, I ran halfway back and then I had to stop. I'm like, I'm fucking... I wasn't out of breath. It's just that my legs were spent. You're not used to it. No, I'll get used to it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna kill it. 
But on a brighter note, and if you are one, and I know I know a lot of people don't really care, but if you are one that does pay attention to the scale and what the weight is every week, every single week, um, every single Sunday, going into Monday, the new work week, I'm at 200 pounds to 198, 200 pounds. Uh, we will I'm see, Jimmy. this weekend we at 194. See. So something's happening with me. Something is happening. No Godzilla. Perry's dying. No stop. Godzilla. You stop. <laughs> You're about to see Jamie Godzilla. Jamie Zilla. Jamie Zilla. Let's just say Joanne. Let's just say Joanne was in here. Okay. He pictures Joanne. No, Jamie, no. <laughs> She's Malaysian. <laughs> she, she has like a similar accent. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Wait, what's in 13 months? They're planning a cruise. They want us to go. Well, we have 13 months to save. Without stopping, but now I can do 10 without stopping. I could have did the whole run back and forth without stopping. But I wanted to do a story for Instagram and catch my breath, which I really didn't need to. If I wanted to just turn around and start running back, I could have because I took it nice and slow. See, now I, I, I won't be able to do ten miles without stopping. I can do, I can do like a mile and a half to two miles without stopping, but what after is that, the mileage I have to stop. I have to stop and I have to catch my breath. What's the mileage from here just to there, to the very end of the bay? Like two and a half miles. All right. I easily could have did it back and forth. It's Easily. five miles altogether. Jamie Jam, what's this? just shy in? of five miles. Why the name? Tags on the. Oh, just for a, just for a story. Just for a story. They're still here too. You're not running anything over six anymore, yeah? The run that Jamie and I do is like just under five miles. Sometimes when I'm feeling like I have to hit that five mile mark, I'll circle the block. Just so I hit it. Yeah. No, Pisces, I just like... If you ever see, like, um, like Hollywood videos where they're, like, they, you know, the stars of the show has their names on think It was just a goof, a goofball uh, movie playoff kind of thing. To make it seem like this is our set, all we're missing is our name tags on our chairs. You were going to ask Jimmy a question? What was I going to ask you, Jimmy Jim? You don't remember now. I forgot. It's gone like a fart in the wind. <laughs> if I remember. It's gone. Yeah, fuck Jimmy Jim. I don't remember. I don't I don't remember <laughs> what I was going to say. I was talking to Pisces. You can blame Pisces. I was going to tell you. And then Pisces asked a question and got me all. I had to think about what she was asking first. I was like, I forgot that I did it. But I had a different di video idea to do about that. About the cruise. About the cruise? Oh. Alright, this might be a question, Jimmy Jim, but it might not be, but I'll ask it anyway. What's going on with this cruise now? You and Christina are going on one. 13 months, you want me and Kaki to come? Where is the cruise out of? Yeah, where is it out? I really don't care where it's going to. I'll be on the boat. You don't gotta get off. You can get off and just walk around. It's up to you. I'm not a big fan of excursions. I am. I like exploring new places. How are your tacos? Good. You get eel for them? I'm gonna try. Right. I mean, I'm not eating all this, obviously. I put in for out half of Miami. the chicken. Alright, that's out because Jamie won't get on a plane. Not a flyer. I don't like planes, even though I flew one before. I did. I flew my. I flew my grandfather's plane. I have no problem getting on a plane. When I was 14 years old, I didn't land it. I didn't take off. I just flew it. I was a pilot for a day. It's at the end of July. Oh, next year of Miami. Mm -hmm. And where's it going, Jimmy? And like what cruise line? Is it Carnival? 
You on time over there? You better be on time over there. The oh, oh yeah. yeah, I know. Yeah, no. We knew. We One know of the that. reasons why I don't like getting off. Well, we always got back on time. We were with my family. Our family. And I would leave them behind to get back on time. Although, I don't know. I kind of wanted to stay in freaking Grand Turk. I would have lived at Margaritaville. I would have had no problem doing that. Riding the wild horses. Chooch? Hey, Chooch. He thinks Diane's cheating on him. She's been eating a lot of fried chicken. She never eats fried chicken. <laughs> Well, how are it's you tonight? It's not her, Chooch. It's the it's baby. It's an eight-day cruise. The baby one. Oh, yeah. You have little babies in there. Your baby's Puerto craving Rico, chicken. Puerto Rico, my hometown. St. Martin's, St. Thomas, and yes, it's Carnival. It is Carnival. Well, maybe we should go there and drop Kaki off at her hometown. <laughs> Leave her ass there and see how Puerto Rican she really is. I'm sure I got family there. <laughs> I'm sure I'll find them. <laughs> Listen, chicken can satisfy many, many women. It really can. Fried chicken especially. River, we love you too. You have a good night. Good night, River. I'm going to get full. I'm trying to think. She's getting satisfied these days. <laughs> Uh-oh. On a serious note, River, how is she doing with the whole pregnancy? River? You just said River. You mean Chooch. Chooch, I meant. How is she, how is she doing? Talked a kid out of killing himself. He came in for chest pain and we talked for an hour. He's gone through a lot of issues. Glad you could help. Oh, I'm not going to do it. There you go. There's your chicken jacks. Jack. Wow, huge. That's, that's crazy. Three times she loved it. Maybe Kaki will love it. Yeah. Maybe Kaki will love Puerto Rico so much that she'll want to stay there. I found me a poppy. <laughs> there you go. There you fucking go. <laughs> and I'll just... I don't know how to say sugar daddy in Spanish. Does anybody know how to say sugar daddy in Spanish? <laughs> I'll have the kids all to myself. I'll be gray in a month. <laughs> At least. <laughs> or bald. Or bald. <laughs> Tits are getting huge. It's the milk. No. You go outside and Not yet. Hide and go fuck off. That doesn't happen just yet. They're just swollen at this point. All right, well, her boobs are swollen. That's nice, though. They're big. I bet they hurt. She's like, oh, don't, don't, don't touch them. Don't touch them. Yeah. I hate that feeling. Mm. I don't know how much I'm eating, how much more I'm eating. But she's always, yeah, she's freaking creating a human. Of course she's exhausted. She's busy, you know, growing a baby. Leave how her alone. Is, you did enough. You've done enough, Chooch. Jimmy Jam. I meant Jimmy Jam. Alone. What the fuck am I calling you everybody else but you, Chooch, tonight? It's like when you have kids, you can't never figure out the fuck the name. Chooch, how is she doing calling. How is she doing with your other two kids while you're at work? Does she have help? Or is she just, you know, a trooper and doing everything that she needs to do? I've never been there either. And I do want to visit that. Uh. I'm a chooch. I got no desire to go to Puerto Rico. Honey, no desire. I like to be in my nook. My little nook. Yeah, I know. You never had to really go outside of our freaking town. You I wouldn't. wouldn't. I like my little town and I like my work town. See, you know, I'm more of an adventurous person. I like to explore new things. She loses her shit often. Mm -hmm. Alright. That's normal, I guess, right? Mm hmm It happened with Kathy, too, when she was pregnant. It happens with me all the time, even when I'm not pregnant. I still think she is pregnant. I'm not. I think she might be pregnant. I have my period, guys. 
Well, I'm next not time. Pregnant. Next time she's gonna be pregnant. No, I won't. They said avoid anything outside the tourist area. Yeah, that's that's anything though. And that's like, you why. shouldn't this avoid. Is scary. You should avoid anything outside the, you know, the tourist like. <clears throat> Fuck that. That's why I don't even want to go. Uh, resorts and whatnot. I'm sure Jimmy Jam will let you slow will. I really do. I, yeah, fuck that. That's just scary. Like, how do you know like the, the person that's going to be driving you is really taking you to a tourist area? Like, you know what I mean? Like, that shit happens. Oh, I think I'm going to, you know, Yoko Poco to get some iced coffee and some, uh, some real Puerto Rican food. No, no, you're not. You're going to building 4A23. But they're going to fuck you up and kill you. You don't know. You know what I mean? That shit happens. Little spoon daddy. Oh, God. <laughs> and I'm not saying every place is like that, but it happens. Fuck that. I'm done. I'm done. I might pick up the wontons. They're really good. I, I'm enjoying Oh, come on. Just stop. Clean him. Clean him. I don't care. <sighs> I had Chinese. I had Chinese, Chooch. I had pulled pork tacos with um, coleslaw. Coleslaw. Really made this Chinese spicy. Yeah, Chinese. I got it. What do I have? Pork fried rice, which I didn't eat a lot of. General Tso's chicken, which I made extremely spicy. And you ate almost all of it. I did. Cheese fried wontons and then uh, pork fried dumplings, which I'm a fan of. I'm a fan of. I was either going to get pork fried dumplings or I was going to get uh, be, uh, no, ribs. Yeah, ribs. You should have pork tacos too. Look at you. I bet yours Must be the Puerto Rican in us. Oh, no. Yeah. I wanted Chinese tonight. It must be the Chinese part of me. <sighs> Actually, what I wanted to do was McDonald's. Slushy Montana. Slushy Montana. How the hell are you? Oh. The only thing I hate about Chinese is I get it stuck in my teeth. Like really bad. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Woke up, Christina. <laughs> if does not work with me. Pork fried dumplings? Hell yeah. I love them too. Can't I love get dumplings myself. When I go to a Chinese place, when I go to a Chinese place, or I order from a Chinese place, a must for me is, uh, it used to be sesame chicken, but now it's General Tso's chicken, cheese fried wontons, and dumplings. Egg roll is, it just happens anyway. Regardless, sometimes I don't even get Chinese, and I'll just Maybe have an egg roll. Chicken and dumplings this week, because I mentioned it last week. It's been a while since I've had chicken and dumplings. A really long time. Like, we, my me, grandma used to make it. Me and Kaki haven't had Chinese since May 24th. I looked at my the last time I had it. Well, I just made Chinese the other night. Real Chinese. Real Chinese, I'm talking about Kaki. I'm getting dumplings tomorrow. Fuck it. I almost... Never get orange chicken, never ever get orange chicken. Not, I'm not a fan of orange chicken. Not the biggest fan of orange chicken either. I don't think I'm eating those last two tacos. I'm like really full. Tacos are so good though. The freaking coleslaw was on point. Good. I think Steve made the coleslaw because let me tell you something, that's freaking good. The macaroni salad though, Fuck I'm glad Steve. I... I'm glad I tasted the macaroni salad before I put it. I was gonna do half coleslaw on my on my tacos and half macaroni salad, but yeah. that macaroni salad was disgusting. And I thought the one I grabbed, I thought was the one that Sue made, the one that I work with, because she makes the best macaroni. No, this macaroni salad tastes like shit. Lo mein. Oh, I love lo mein. Who said that? Jimmy Jam. And lo mein. I don't think I've ever even had lo mein. I love lo. It's the noodles. You tell me they always look like worms. Yeah, fuck I lo mein. I love lo mein. I love lo mein cold the next day. It over. might okay. taste good. It might taste good, but I'm not. I've never had it. We got it on accident one time. Like, they gave us, like, 
somebody else's like homemade order. Like, oh yeah. No mermaid. And I was like, what the hell is this? I'm like, I taste it. I'm like, oh shit, that's like really good. But I ended up not eating it, and I stuck it in the fridge. And then I ate it like the next day cold. It was so freaking good. I'm done. Cold lo mein's badass. I don't like cold. If food is hot, or you're supposed to eat it hot, I'm not one to eat it cold. Like I can't do it. If it's supposed to be hot, it's gotta be hot. Then you had a feta salad with homemade Italian dressing my coworker made, and had coconut macaroons for dessert. Nice, Chooch. Nice. Very nice. Kaki, are you ready to go to bed? Yeah. It's Kaki's turn to clean up tonight. I just That's my turn to clean up every night. That's true, but you're cleaning up the majority tonight. I clean up the majority every night. Okay, Kaki. Except for we get Fridays. It. We get it. You're fucking wonderful. I am. Good night, guys. We will see you. <laughs> We will see you tomorrow. Hope you enjoy your Monday and the rest of your Sunday night. Can you do me a favor? I'll do you anything. What? Oops. Not well, you know what I mean. I'll do anything that you need me to do, Jimmy Jam. She needs a carpet ride. Do the D my dude. Get your nipples pierced. I'm getting my nose pierced, not the nipples. Ow. Not the nipples. No Fuck way. That. Ouch. Never, ever, I th- ever. I think I think I would be really getting cold. Uh, no thanks. Getting cold, a hippie. They're sensitive already. There's the no way I'm shoving a fucking needle through one of them. I'm no get- thanks. Good. I'm getting. I'm getting my nose. I'm getting the nose ring. That's final. Maybe this weekend. But guys, we will see you tomorrow. Have a good night. Have a good night, guys. <laughs> saved. Saved. Just like that. And then YouTube and Twitch. I'm going to come a little bit closer, get a little personal in your business. Guys, thank you for hanging out with us. Uh, We will be back tomorrow night with another meal. Much more macro friendly than takeout. I promise. Uh, I promise. I will will not be. Bad, bad person this week. I will not be doing takeout tomorrow unless I have an extremely shitty day. And then that's usually when Ronald McDonald comes calling.